I've been through so, so much in my life. A lot of trials and tribulations. And oftentimes I wonder, why me? Why am I still here and others aren't? I've had near death experiences and I've got the scars to prove it. And honestly, I'm not here to get spiritual with you. To be honest, it's really not my style. But as I continue to go down this path to entertain and give y'all game, well, I continue to get pulled in a different direction. First, it was the pimp who used to be a preacher. One day, I found myself listening to him pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Before I ask for you to do anything for anybody, Lord, to just do anything, period. I just want to thank you for another day. I want to thank you for one more time. I want to thank you because the blood is still running warm in our veins today. Lord, thank you, Lord, for just being you. This brother was praying that the people watching it didn't make the same mistakes he made. And then there was the video, Why Men Leave, featuring Bishop T.D. Jakes and his daughter. To the grieving women in this room who feel like my father loved, didn't love me, he wasn't there for me, very seldom do men leave their children. They leave their situation or they leave their spouse and they don't know how to build a relationship with the child apart from the mother or the mother won't let them. Now I've been sitting on this video for a while. Should I simply react to it? Get crazy with the edits? Y'all know how I do. Honestly, I don't know. I still don't know but I want to do it right. More recently, I came across a preacher. And you know, when you go down that fresh and fit rabbit hole, everything about fresh and fit consumes your homepage. Fresh and fit pod, fresh and fraud, fresh or whatever you want to call them, are getting torched all over the media. You got folks like Joe Budden coming out. You got the shade room. You got folks pulling receipts. And we're going to talk about the, the lesson here that all of us can apply, because there is a lesson here. I'm going to give you guys some Bible verses towards the end. So watch towards the end. Don't be a goofball. Say, what did this have to do with the Bible? I'm going to get there. And then there's this young brother. Last time I saw his video, he was in a do-rag and a wife beater. Come to find out, he deleted all his old videos and decided to go down a spiritual journey. So he recently came out with a video on Kim K and Kanye and talked about it from a spiritual perspective. I'm gonna react to that. So guys, you gotta understand now, like I said in the earlier portion of the video, this relationship had its expiration date way before, guys, any and all of this stuff start manifesting. <clears throat> but I wanna go ahead and happen to the second piece of evidence, guys, because this conversation, guys, showed me everything that I need to, needed to see about Kim Kardashian and the type of kind of like a wife that she was to Kanye West in his walk with Christ, guys. So let's go ahead and hop into it. You are my wife. And it affects me when pictures are too sexy. Of course, it's like a formal underwear. It's hot. It's like it's hot for who, though? So, like, the night before the event, you're going to come in here and say that you're not into a corset vibe. I just feel like I have just went through this transition where from being a rapper, like looking at all these girls and looking at my wife, like, oh, my girl needs to be just like the other girl, showing her body off, showing this, showing that. And I didn't realize that that was affecting like my soul and my spirit as someone that's married and loved and the father of like now with about to be four kids. You built me up to have be this like sexy person and confidence and all this stuff. Yes. And just because you're on a journey and you're on your transformation doesn't mean that I'm in the right, I'm in the same spot with you. And guys, I wish they would have kept playing the video um, aside from the where they cut it off because actually Kanye said, okay, okay, that's all I need to hear. And he got up and he left, guys. Let me tell you why Kanye left. 
because the spirit within Kanye saw her for who she was in that moment. Come on, man. This is your husband. This is a man who you have had kids with, a man who you have locked in a holy union such as marriage with, and you have the audacity to say, just because you're on your journey doesn't mean that I have to be on my journey. But guys, let me insert you the Bible verse that tells you when you are married, guys, when you lock in in that covenant, you guys are one flesh now. Now, when I saw this clip, I agreed with the young brother. But I also saw the unfortunate mistakes most men make. By having a kid with a woman, he wouldn't want his daughter to grow up to be. Kim Kardashian is a sex symbol, I guess. But no man wants their daughter to grow up and become a sex symbol. And Chris Rock said it best. A man's biggest job in life is to keep his daughter off the pole. I mean, they don't grade fathers, but if your daughter's a stripper, you fucked up. <laughs> yeah, and it's unfortunate because Kim doesn't see anything wrong with the sexy photos she posts. So when Kanye's daughter gets of age, well, Little Northwest may be the next Vanessa from the Bernie Mac show. And just like those photos I showed you earlier, man, those are not photos that any woman who is married, have kids, and on top of all of that, is under the rule and authority of a holy man who's trying to give his life over to Christ, should be taken. Kim Kardashian cannot see the fault in her ways, guys. But see, one of my pushbacks has always been that people who are into the church are so judgmental. And I'm not going to give Kim a pass. She's always showing off her body on IG. But no one is perfect. It's not something I'd accept from my wife. But who am I to judge? Alright guys, this is evidence piece two, man. And this is going to be where Kanye West was kind of like condemning Kim Kardashian for letting their daughter, Northwest, go on TikTok and create a TikTok profile, guys. This just happened in the media waves. So we're gonna go ahead and insert this video, man, and go over this video, but I wanna add my thoughts and opinions on the things that's being said in it. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Kim Kardashian is slamming Kanye West on social media, and she isn't holding back. Yep. It all started on Friday when Kanye posted a screenshot of their eldest daughter, North, on TikTok. He asks in the caption, quote, Since this is my first divorce, I need to know what I should do about my daughter being put on TikTok against my will. It's an issue he's raised before, like in this interview last month. Don't have my daughter wearing lipstick on TikTok. I don't have on TikTok at all if I'm not approve that. Almost immediately, Kim claps back with this lengthy response. Quote, Kanye's constant attacks on me in interviews and on social media is actually more hurtful than any TikTok North might create. False, man. False. Like that's what the Jezebel spirit does, guys. She wants to play this pity kind of role, how, oh, Kanye's attacking me. Oh, these attacks that he's giving me are, are way more hurtful than anything my daughter can be doing on the internet. That's false, man. Here's my final thoughts, and I'm gonna leave his brother's video in the description. I've always thought Kanye was crazy, but now I question is that just media spinning it that way? Sure, he's had some mental issues, but I'm pretty sure that comes with dating a Kardashian. The fact that Ye said no to social media and Kim did it anyways shows a lack of respect for the father of her child. Ye is clearly doing this to protect his daughter and even if you don't agree with that man you always do what's in the safest interest of your kid. But what do I dislike about Ye? Only thing I don't like about Kanye is, 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 he's, he, is he's black when he's down but when he's up slavery was a choice. You know what I mean? Whenever there's some type of struggle or uh, something's not going his way, that's when he becomes a black man. But when he's up, you know, slavery was a choice and Harriet Tubman didn't free the slaves. Mm -hmm. and, we, and we need to move past race. Now next up. Yeah, see that's a little weird to me. But what do I know? I'm just the guy on the internet. I'm out.